Welcome back. It is so good to see you again. In today's video, I've got something, well, you know where it's gonna go. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a little bit of short, a little bit of long, and a little bit of fun coming right up. So before we begin and we even get into this, I'm just gonna like share a little inside tip and trick with you. I love sparkling mineral water. You know what else? If you wet your hair down, sparkling mineral water. No, I'm just kidding. I've never done that before. You know what I mean? Like seriously, just use regular water. You don't have to use mineral water or sparkling water to wet your hair down, you know? Had you going there for a minute. All right, let me just take a little sip here. We'll get right into it. Let's go ahead and start the haircut. I'm gonna show you basically where we're gonna start and I'll explain more about where we're going as we get along. So let's go ahead and start what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be starting off with the center part. That's super important. And then we're gonna be establishing that our shortest point wants to be right up here in this front area. Okay, so if you've seen in my previous videos, one of the things is how I actually find the fringe is I will do this blousing technique right in front. And you can see how I just did that. If you wanna know more about how I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and link another video, boop, right there. Do you like that little sound effect? You like that little boop, boop, boop? I mean, like, come on. Yeah, yeah. That's either like really annoying or it's kind of really funny. I'm thinking it's kind of funny. Morgan's laughing. All right, well, let's just go with it. So now we're gonna see exactly where our frontal area is, which essentially would be this area right through here, okay? So I'm cutting little V's in here, right? And this essentially would be like channels, okay? Short, long, short, long, short, long. And I'm not cutting this right to the desired length just yet because we're going to be drying it, then we'll, we'll really shape that up. But I'm getting that main basic length out of the way. Then I'll take this down in a third second, uh, I'm sorry, I'll take this down in a second section. Okay, now that we got this out of the way, just like that, now we're gonna have like this pretty heavy fringe right in front. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little bit of fun with the rest of this. So as you can see, what I did over there on the right side, now I'm gonna be working on the left side. We're gonna be using a razor and we're going to start exactly where um, that longest portion on that fringe and then we're basically going to layer all the way around creating this like almost kind of short to long. And so we're gonna be opening up the face a ton. This is what you can actually see right now. Just opening up that face. So this haircut, there's really nothing to kind of hide behind. So you've got that kind of fuller fringe, but now you're gonna to start to have like that, essentially that shaggish kind of like layer, but we're gonna be going a little bit more intense, kind of more mullet-ish, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun, especially once we start to dry this, but you're really starting to see a lot of that texture come out. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little B-roll, and we're gonna go back and forth from like left to right. And so let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. 
Just gonna recap really, really quick. So we basically did the fringe. I found my sections between like the front and the sides. Now we cut a fairly kind of like PC fringe right through here. Then what we did is then I took a hairline section through here, pulled this forward and I layered from the longest point on the fringe down all the way and you can actually start to see this angle happening. And now this is going from short to long down through here. Essentially it's gonna to create tons of volume. You're gonna have this nice layered look. You're gonna have this nice open face which is just fabulous. And then even looking at this, how this is kind of starting to dry right now is starting to look super amazing. Like I love it, I love it. This is a very classic, you know, style that can be worn with curl straight, you know, just air dried. There's so much potential here with this. So I want you guys to really understand as you're starting to layer that, I worked through a center part through here and I started just taking sections back until I got all the way to the center back. And even in that, come on over here, I'll show you when that center back portion, I was combing the hair all the way. Let me, let me get right through that little tangle there. I was combing all the way forward to essentially over direct all of this hair to cut that off. Does this hair live here? Absolutely not. It lives back here. But what that's going to do as well is it's actually going to layer that back portion by over directing it this way right through here. So keep that in mind, guys. The other really cool thing, and I mean, again, this is, you could totally do this on yourself, it's like DIY, you know what I mean? Like, but I mean, do you really want to? I don't know. I mean, I would recommend going to a trained professional. Come see me. You come see me, all right? Come see me, I will hook you up. I, I will take your hair from ordinary to extraordinary. Whoosh. Just kidding. I, no, I mean, I'm not kidding because I totally will, but you wanna come see me? You wanna make an appointment? Yeah, yeah, let's make it happen. I would love to do your hair. But anyways, this is what's super rad about this. We're gonna go ahead and dry this. I'm gonna smooth this out. And uh, yeah, does that hurt? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I was seriously like leaning on their head and they were kind of leaning over and I was like, oh man, like, you know, <laughs> that would be pretty funny. So let's go ahead and dry this. Okay, I have got something that is so amazing. It's from Kerastase. It's called Cream Magistral. Magistral. I can never pronounce the name right, but it looks like a cream, just like so. We're gonna go ahead and use, you can use this on wet hair and you can use this on dry hair. And the cool thing about it I actually used this on one of my clients today in the salon because she's got like naturally kind of puffy ends that can look a little bit frizzy or can look a little bit dry. And so you take this product, it's almost like lotion for the hair, which is pretty amazing. And so as I start to put this in the hair, just like now, you're gonna start to see a lot of that texture coming out, but we're going to dry it and it's just gonna have that much more shine. It's gonna have that much more of a healthy look about it. So I wish you could smell this. I mean, here, see, can you smell that? Can you smell that? Ah, oh, dude, okay, okay. So hopefully you know what I am smelling right now because, whoo, man, that smells good, you know? You get this product, I'm gonna go ahead and link that below. You're gonna, you know, you, you'll know because you smelt it just barely, but whoo, it's good stuff, man. All right guys, so once you get it smooth, one of the things you have to think about is that if your blow dry is crap, 
if your blow dry does not look good, when it goes to refine, you're not going to get a polished look. That is fact right there. And so don't be lazy in your refinement. Make it smooth, make it like butter. Make it look good, okay? Because when you go in to do this, you wanna make sure that your, your palette is perfectly polished. You know what I mean? What I wanna do is that looking at this style right now, okay? It looks good and it could work right now. And this is a very kind of like traditional, you know, opening up the face kind of thing. But we're gonna take it to the next level, okay? Now, taking it to the next level is us going in and really opening up, up through this area. So one of the things is that this hair, when I was cutting it, I was cutting it this direction, okay? Everything was brought forward. So now what I wanna do is I'm going to hold this up just like so, and I'm really gonna go in and just start removing, and I'm cutting out, as you can see, right? Look how much open that is right there. So I'm gonna go in and I'm really gonna start to open up some of these sections because the cool thing is that these are going to create a lot of texture. So if we do this kind of wavy curly, those like longer bits up against those short bits are gonna create a lot of really, really cool texture in there. And you can already start to see some of that happening through that area. So I'm gonna take another section down right through here. And on some of these side pieces, I wanna go in and you've seen me do this before, but where, so I'm gonna have you come all the way over here so you can see this really quick. So now you're gonna kind of see exactly what we're doing. And so I'll cut like sections like that out. And so you'll see how some of those pieces are really gonna open up in that specific area. Let's take another one right through here. And you'll start to see how some of those like short bits in there are gonna help create some of that texture through that area. The other really cool thing is that's what helps support some of that volume that you're trying to get through that round of the head right through here, through this area right through here. And so, you know, a lot of times people, their hair falls super flat around that specific area. And so this helps to support that. So that short hair in there is what's gonna help kind of support some of that longer hair. And as you kind of look in there, you can start to see how that volume is holding up right through that area. So that's another really cool thing. So when you guys go in to cut your shape, and shapes in the salon, if you're doing this on yourself, whatever it may be, you have to understand that there's an outside perimeter here that we cut, and then there's an inside portion of hair that we need to cut to help support that outside. I mean, if you guys are finding value in this, go ahead and like, subscribe, you know, share it, send it over to somebody. Be like, dude, check out this guy, Jake. Look at him cutting hair, he's like, Hopefully he's like a magician, you know, whatever. But again, you know, I appreciate that guys. Really, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the love. The cool thing, as you're starting to kind of look through here, you know, me taking out some of that texture that I took out before, it was looking really bulbous right now. Like now it's kind of bringing it right back into that modern world to where now it's like she's got a little bit of height through here. It's not too big out through this area, but then she has that length down through there. So again, this, this guy is, is bringing it into like the modern world. Back in the 80s, 70s, like they probably weren't doing as much texturizing in the hair. So the shapes were the same, but the texture is completely different. So it's modernizing, it's bringing it to the modern world. It's making it to where the older generation and the younger generation are wanting to wear these looks. You know what was so crazy? I was at a, I was at a family event the uh, last weekend and there was 
an extended family of my wife's family that was there. And this girl probably was no older than maybe 14. Well, she's walking around with this like rocker shag, like hair, haircut and her hair's naturally curly. And the funny thing, she's rocking this poison open up and say, ah, t-shirt. And if you know what I'm saying, hit the like button on this video, make a comment. I had that exact shirt when I was younger. Poison, yeah. You know, I'm not trying to date myself. No, I'm not that old. I'm not that old at all. But the thing about, you know, trends and fashion, things come back, right? Like, you know, things are going to evolve. You're gonna to start to see like, curtain fringe is so hot right now. Curtain fringe is basically like, it's pretty much a shag, but they cut that shag short and it's just like the shortest point. That's the starting point of like a shag. It's crazy. Or side swept fringe, that's essentially curtain fringe, but instead of it just like swooping over from one side, now it swoops from the front, just like that. That's it. You can start to see, like you can see how short some of those pieces are in there versus close to those long bits. And if I backcomb that, you can see how that looks. And the really cool thing is if you do this right, you're not gonna see that texture like in that hair, meaning that if she was going to kind of go and part her hair, it's not gonna be like this awkward texture that's like sitting right there on top of the head. I'm very cautious of where I am, where they would part their hair. But you know, down underneath this area, I can go a little bit more aggressive because it's not gonna be hair that essentially sticks up. So always being aware of really where you are on the head is super important. All right guys, so we're at that point now where I've taken out enough weight that I really wanna take out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and style this. I am going to use the same product I used to blow dry it from like wet to dry, okay? Magistral right here. It's that cream. Go and put this throughout my hands. And the cool thing about it is I really just want to add texture. Again, I hope you guys truly enjoyed what I did today. If you guys don't have that Magistral cream, get it. It's a game changer. It's amazing. And you can see how you can create this texture on the head to where it has shine, it has definition, but it's super soft to the touch. And the cool thing is that, again, smell that. You know, you know what I mean, okay? Yeah, it's, it's legit, right? It's very luxurious, luxurious. Check this out again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Jake Thompson Hair. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you made it this long and you haven't liked it, like the video. I hope you guys are enjoying these. They come out every Monday and Thursday. I will see you in the next video.